Welcome back. With just three days remaining for the launch of ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 mission, Times now visited Mumbai-based Godrej Aerospace, which has supplied critical components of four India space missions. Here is a look at how Godrej Aerospace is contributing to fueling India's space ambitions. India is all set to achieve one more milestone with regards to Chandrayaan 3's launch, which is going to happen quite soon. And now, these are the components; those are highly used in Chandrayaan 3 on its rocket. Uh, we will also briefly understand what these components are and how they are going to be utilized in Chandrayaan 3 with the business head here, uh, Mr. Manik, is here with us to explain us briefly about it, sir. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. And can you just help us understand what this component? Components are all about how they are going to be used and fit in the rocket that is uh, being launched with Chandrayaan 3. So Chandrayaan 3 uh, will have three engines uh, which will be uh, taking the aircraft uh, to the space. Uh, there are two L110 engines, uh, which is uh, Vikas engine, which is stage two, and the stage three is the cryogenic stage, which is with the C20 engine. So you see some of the parts. Uh, uh, lined up over here. Similar parts are associated to our uh, engines which are going on to Chandrayaan 3. Okay. Similarly, how different it is from Chandrayaan 1 and 2, how upgraded they are, because what we are learning is that the engines, especially here, are the highly upgraded uh, parts of this Chandrayaan 3 and also how new technologically smartness we can witness in Chandrayaan 3. Uh, Chandrayaan-1 was a totally different aircraft, uh, uh, spacecraft rather, uh, which was uh, PSLV. Uh, now, of course, we are launching with LMV-3. So the aircraft itself, uh, the spacecraft itself is a uh, different uh, spacecraft. Uh, the engines are very similar. Uh, I would say almost 80%, 85% similar. Uh, every mission which goes out of uh, ISRO, uh, there are analysis which are done by the engineers and scientists, and then they come up with several uh, suggestions and upgrades. Uh, a lot of simulations are done for, uh, for Chandrayaan. So all this thing put together will give us a good result on uh, 23rd, 24th August when it finally lands on the moon. Okay. Similarly, if you could just explain the few uh, you know technicalities for a layman to understand that how these are going to be utilized and how these are going to be fitted in. So any engine uh, has a thrust chamber, of course, which is a major part what you see. Uh, but above that, there are uh, pumps, turbines, uh, uh, in, uh, injectors, very small uh, injectors which actually mix the, uh, uh, the, the, the fuel and then finally it gets fired uh, at, at, at that stage. So, uh, so these are all parts which are associated with the engine, all parts are associated with the engine. There are uh, turbines, there are uh, impellers, there are pumps and all put together they create an engine which is then finally uh, you know, it, it ignites in the space uh, at a particular point of time.